on the Please Me For On YouTube channel. Month of Freedom. Ladies and gents, it is officially the month of freedom. I'm on the first edit right now. And uh, we're about to turn it up. The entire month of May, we will be posting every single day. So let's get started off with some Ruby action. We have so much cool stuff planned for you guys this month. It's going to be rowdy. Oh, snap. Woohoo! It's a big box. It is pretty large. <laughs> no stack. Yeah. I think they stacked. Yeah, it's, I guess. <laughs> it appears as though they may have stacked. Hopefully this thing isn't damaged. All right, we're gonna drag this thing next door, guys. This is a new toolbox. If you didn't know, we have like the worst set of tools here at the shop ever. And James has been forced to work with them for the last two years. And so we finally got with the guys at Boxo and we've been trying to do something with them for a while. And uh, we finally made something happen. And today we're gonna surprise James with a new set of tools for the shop because he's had a I mean, let's just, should we show him the snap on real quick? Basically, you can't really find anything in here. we have James locked in the office. We don't want to show him anything, but just to show you guys, this is our uh, old snap on. This sat in a barn in Nebraska for like 15 years. This is how far the drawers open for reference. And then they get stuck because all the sliders are seized. Just to show you the, our tools, this is, <laughs> this is pretty much all we've got in here. We just go to Harbor Freight every couple months and and renew but i mean like an assortment of wrenches missing all the good sizes you know everything you need is pretty much gone yeah so james is constantly having to bring in his own tools and piece together you know tools borrow things. tools from the guys things like that so i think this new box is going to really be uh awesome spots for everything yeah so we're gonna open this thing up show you guys what we got and then show it to james also guys you'll see the big wheels on the bottom boxo equipped it with a suspension wheel because i told him we needed something mobile that we can roll into the stacker when we go to races because you'll really never find james more pissed off in between rounds of racing when he can't find the right tools so this is hopefully going to solve all of that. So I have no idea what the color scheme is. I originally said white and black, but then I think they changed it. So who knows? I brought some of our junky tools. <laughs> can't, can't even cut the damn strips off. Nope. Not going to happen. There you go. Just have to twist it. You learn how to use these tools. You know how sick it's going to be it, though to roll this into the trailer and be done. We don't have to have half half of a tool set in there half of a tool set in here and nicely packaged well done box hill oh there's a vice on it nice dude that is convenient that is nice so these wow. are okay these are not related to the toolbox these are actually rolls of side-by-side -side tools yeah. for can-am there's two can-am ones we're gonna give one of these away on instagram but they sent us two of them it's pretty cool because you just throw this in your side-by-side -side and it's got uh, all of the necessary sizes for repairing a can am on the trails. So I'll pop that open in a minute. Dang, look at that nice workstation on top. This thing is sick. Yeah, we might need a razor blade. Oh, I already see a lot of. Hell yeah, it is white and black. Ooh hoo hoo. Hell yeah, dude. Sick. Look at that, dude. They put some custom live action on there. Man, it's got in the back too. Yeah. I wanted him to be able to like roll it in between shops. Yeah. Cause you know, one day he's working on Toast, one day he's working on Leroy, then he's on the C7. Now he can have his workstation just freaking bomb back and forth. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> How freaking sick, dude. Woo! Love the paint scheme. Yeah, that candy apple. Oh red. my gosh, dude, that is just so nice. It's so cool because at the end of the day, you know, you, you know where all your tools are. Yep. The best part about having the, the cheap toolbox and the stacker is when you get to the next location and every tool in the box is scattered to the front of the shelves and they're like bent out. I mean, this is... some tip overs of our toolbox. Yeah. Dude, this is legit. Ooh, wow. holy crap. All right, I'll go get James. I'll bring him over. You think just we just put it right here? I think it's fine right there. There he is, folks. The man, the myth, the legend. 
All right, James. I know you know something's going on. Something. Well, listen, we uh, this is gonna kind of give it away, but I know for the last two years or so, you've been using a very crappy set of tools. This is very loud construction in the background, but being that it was your birthday, you know, it's more of just a well-deserved deal. We uh, we got you a little something to upgrade you at the shop. You oh, know, yeah. take your take a little bit of frustration out of your day. <laughs> Come on in, buddy. Check it out. Hey, look at that unit. Uh huh. Dude. We got you a little upgrade so you can swap between shops with ease. Ooh. Got a vice and everything. Wow, look yeah, at this yeah. thing. Woo hoo! It's got all of it in there, huh? All mm -hmm. of it. Is that too nice for you, dude? Dude, yeah, this is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're gonna do with a wrench that big. Uh, you can put A and wrenches together with these. Mm. Golly. Instead of having to use the adjustable and then yeah. just real oh, tight yeah. and then slips. Mm. You know, one of these, it just goes right together. I was thinking you could bottom drawer that one. Look at that. Look at all them socks. <laughs> We're gonna have to search for sockets again. Man. So she set up pretty good. Dude, even impact sockets? Dude, I know. No more busting chromies apart? No more blowing chrome sockets up. That's your handle for the side. Yeah. Got a whole nother side. Wow. It's your ratcheting it's wrenches. Cool. Magnetic. Magnetic. Yep. This is the extra thin specials. Legit. There you know your hammer? I can beat things? Yeah, dude, you hit something. Man. You got a spot to put everything too, and in the day. Yeah. You'll, You'll know if walk something's around missing. if something's missing. Yep. Find it. Vice oh, grips. Vice grips, files. Man. It's pretty sick, right? Yeah, it was all Yep, you the got wheels. your wheel sockets. There's magnets, mirrors. I don't know what this thing is. I've never seen this before in my life. You don't know what this is? No. So when you got a bolt that's really tight, it's about the strip. Put that socket on here. Yeah. You see how it does like a thing? You hold pressure on it, whack it with a hammer, and it breaks it free. Oh, wow. Fancy. So like, if this is used a lot if you got doing brakes on something that has like the Phillips or the Torx bit yeah. hole holding the rotor oh, to the okay. hub. Oh. You first you whack that bolt with a hammer, then you take this and it comes right free. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, dude, so not only that, you got, I figured, you know, you're gonna be going back and forth between the shops a lot with it. You know, yeah. so you got shelf space back here. See that. You got your whole uh, power coated or bed lined workstation on top so you can load it up with stuff. You know, say you got to go from working on toast over to working on the C7, you just mm. throw your impacts, your impact gun, stuff like that on your shelves, lock it up, drive next door. Pretty legit. Sweet, man. Yeah, dude. So shout out to Boxo because they're the ones who made this all happen. So Boxo USA. They even stickered it up too. I know. Remember when we used their tools at yeah, LS yeah, Fest? That dude? little box is cool. And yep. a red flashlight. And you got a flashlight. So I talked to the Boxo dudes. They were like, "We got to set your boy James up." And uh, they got this. It's nice too having a workbench that just comes with your tools everywhere you go. Yep. With a vice on it. The top of our toolbox is always covered and stuff, but I figured this being the mobile station, you just freaking yeah. keep what you need on top. But around this, you can put those hangers in. Yeah. Instead of it just being a flat edge because these probably, shelves are behind here. I'll probably get on there and see if they got the hangers for the power tools. And have yeah. All the power tools. So this mm -hmm. way all the shelf space can be used for parts or tools or yes, whatever sir. specialty stuff that I'm working on at that time. Yes, That's sir. Great. All right, dude. There you go. Take good care of her. Oh. And then the, look at this, James. It gets better. Dual spring I've seen it. It's got wheels. It's got and suspension on there. So I was saying that nothing frustrates james more than when we're like between rounds of the track and can't fix the car because of tools so now we can just roll this whole thing in the oh, trailer yeah, locker everything locks too so we don't have to walk into the trailer and the whole toolbox <laughs> and tools are just over top of everything <laughs> we can just, just slam it in the trailer we're in there lock her down and then yeah boom we're on our way to the race and oh, so yeah. all right guys shout out to box show for working with us on this glad you got a Set our boy James up with a little bit better of a tool set up here at the shop. Take this thing with us wherever we gotta go and we're uh, excited to not be searching for tools all the time. Hopefully, it, this should make it a lot easier at the end of the day to know we have all of our tools. Yeah, back. everything having a designated spot to go to that's all labeled and everything. Yeah. You can't 
Not only does it make finding the tool you need easier, but clean up 10 times faster and yep. more efficient. You know what you're looking for. Hit up our boys at Boxo, dude. They uh, they definitely hooked it up and we're excited to be working with them. And I'm sure this will not be the last Boxo toolbox we get in the, uh, the future of the McFarland Racing team. Yeah, actually, let's roll this thing up too. This is a little Can-Am roll-up bag of just Can-Am tools. So we can throw this in the X3. Yeah, bag. That's pretty legit. Uh, yeah, breaker board, really got all the sockets, sockets, wrenches, right here. sockets, wrenches, yeah. little hammer. It's a lot more tools than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this hammer, dude. Got your pliers, flathead. You know, none of these tools in here can fix what you're working on with this thing. You just roll this bad boy out, <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? You can fix it all. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Nice adjustable. Yes, sir. We'll be giving this away on my Instagram, guys. So go to. Uh, go check out my Instagram, follow me. I'll have something posted in the next few days about giving the second one of these away. So guys, in other news today, this is Ruby's OG converter from the <laughs> days where it took her so long to spool because we had that little uh, 5.3 in there and it really struggled to get this thing up to uh, up to speed, got it up, to get it up to the two step. So now that we have a freaking 7.0 liter 427, and uh, James was saying it was kind of pushing through the converter, we're gonna slap this baby in, and uh, that should give us what we need. Tighten her up. Tighten her up. So we're gonna move our boy Toast out of the way. We're gonna slide Toast over to, I don't know, we got all these Boosted Boys cars in here. We're gonna reorganize these a little bit and then we'll be able to slide toast out of the way grab ruby out of the trailer slap her on the lift and while we have her on the lift we have a couple things we got to do uh, uh we're putting a new dipstick in we got like a nice dipstick for her uh, the transmission dipstick has an issue too right it just has one of those short ones that's right on the pan rail and you gotta pump the fluid in so yeah i was going to just take a Put a hole in the car and put a real dipstick in it a long so we one. can fill it from inside the car so that'd be a lot easier in, yeah. so those two things and a converter swap and just clean up the back end because there's a lot of stuff back there from riding on the roads slap that old converter in from rpm transmissions and that thing should be good to go so we got to move our boy toast out bring ruby in and we'll be ready to rip All right, guys, new converter is in and there is some buttoning up to do. So got to put the control arms back in the top of the coil over. Got to hook up the shift cable, e-brake, e-brake, wheels back on this side on and uh, she's ready to bog. And then right here, we got a new transmission dipstick that James is going to drill a hole through the trunk of the car so that this can access uh, from the top. You can just pour fluid straight from basically the trunk. It'll go right down into the trans pan and then the dipstick for the oil comes tomorrow so we're gonna be in good shape i really did want to two-step it with the new converter and see if it takes longer is it gonna blow that coupler to smithereens if we try it real quick it's, it's not gonna good. build any boost yeah it's already open which i two-stepping with no boost to is not gonna give you the same result as it hooked up you're darn right bro. <laughs> you're darn right it's na i can put the cut i can put the clamp back on and it might survive a two-step if you james is out here spitting facts straight Fast. Some of you all go out there and spit bars, or I go out there and spit fast. You want to do it or wait? <laughs> yeah, give me two seconds. I'll get this. I mean, I hate dirty. to break it to everybody, but he's kind of out here spitting common knowledge. It's not making boost. <laughs> you can two spit all you want, but it's going to two step the difference. Really? Yeah. Might as well go two step the nail truck. Sure. So aggressively, he's really mad today. I don't know what the deal is. I think he's getting a puppy on Wednesday. Stay off. Tighten that rig. Oh my God! It's the same way he puts in spark plugs. James, sure, really hold thinking. the two step. Hold on.
It's exactly I'm, I'm how he put the spark plug in. Trans brake fails for some reason, and I don't want to end up in the river in between the shots. Yeah, this thing makes it through the wall. That's the impressive. <laughs> second they got on the two-step the turbo went to go move and the coupler said not today the coupler left the building yeah they didn't they didn't leave the building it just where's it at i know it's no there. no that that was just boxes fell over did it really yeah well i can tell you this it made 30 pounds of boost and hit the boost cut very fast dude this engine just has so much power bald eagles boys we're hopping on the dyno in the next video the hub dyno so stay tuned for that thanks for watching dude for dale We'll freaking see you later.